All my life, I've been considered a brown noser. I made a punny joke on this name once by saying they kissed so much butt that more of the brown freckles should have been on my nose, and I really didn't get much of a laugh. Just odd looks. Kind of like the looks that I bet you're making right now. I've been called a suck-up, a butt kisser, and less savory things, but you get the idea. When we were a lot younger, my sisters called me a goody-goody because I greeted my parents on Rula's lot. Sure, there were times I'd go along with them just out of a motivation to look good, but for the most part, I just felt the justice of the rules. They didn't have to use the phrase, you'll understand when you're older, very often, because I understood a lot then. I grew up, of course, and that goody-goody nature stuck to me like white on rice. I've been wanting to use that phrase since the sixth grade. It has followed me into all of my jobs at one time or other. Sure, I don't like my work all the time, but most of the time I'm in a pretty good mood at work. I sing, hum, whistle, or smile a lot. On more than a few occasions, my good mood is rubbed off indirectly on my coworkers, and more than once has it has it been something people tease me about. One theory states that to get good to get really good at doing something, you need to have passion. Theoretically, without passion for a thing, without showing pride, you won't be good at the thing. I have often applied this theory to work. When I take pride in what I've done, it turns out that I do a better job. Sometimes it has been hard to have pride in my job because I have not liked the company. Truly though, this kind of pride is not really based on a feeling. Whether or not you really like the company, you need to have pride in your job. To those means, I have often instituted the phrase, fake it till you make it. I don't know who first coined the term, but it applies here. I act all smiley at work. Consequently, people see me with a brown nose. Until I like the job enough to do good work. It has been really hard in some workplaces, but eventually, faking it has improved all my performance in every job that I have ever had. And I have had a surprisingly large number of different jobs. I talk a lot about my jobs at Walmart, but mentioning them here makes sense too. When I worked there, co-workers would often joke with me about my apparent brown nosing. They would tease me about aiming for being management. They were partly right, because getting a promotion to management would have been good for me in many ways. But it was more about having pride in my workplace than anything else. That pride led me to a kind of corporate loyalty that many people would say is unwarranted. When I worked at Walmart, and even now, four and a half years later, every time I walked into one of the chain stores I would feel a stab of pride. I'm just proud of the company. I am aware that it is far from perfect, but I also see it as having the potential for being the perfect retail store. So even though I didn't like my job, I liked the company. It was a love-hate relationship. This is only one example. The kind of corporate loyalty and brand pride that I developed when on the job. You might say that I am brown nosing whenever I act the way I do at work, but I say that I am choosing to become a better employee.